everyone, and hope your day is going as well as mine. I love it because there's rain coming in, so it has kind of that humid, kind of warm, breezy, um, heavy feeling, which I like. You know, after this big winter and the spring that never seemed to want to come, but with that blizzard mid-April, it's here. Things are starting to grow. I've learned a few things. I'm gaining wisdom in my old age. The one thing is, be careful who you engage with. And every so often I stick my my finger in the fire, you know, and go off onto this flat earth debate, and it's like, I'm done. Why why add frustration, you know, into your life? You're not going to convince people of stuff, so why argue with them? The other thing that I learned, very important, is that I was able to shoot over 300 yards with just a, a wooden crossbow, and not even with flight arrows. This was a, a pretty good arrow, so... I have I have tamed the beast. I have I have gone to an unknown land and returned safely. So what's next for the big ash crossbow? Well, as the sinew continues to dry and cure, it's going to increase its performance. So instead of flight shooting, which I am, I want to see you know how far I can ultimately throw bolts. Maybe adjusting the the the, the weight, the mass of the bolt fiddling around with the veins, seeing if I can break 400 yards. Do I think I can? Maybe, but we'll see. How about this? How many license plates can I shoot through with this sign? Of course I need to use a time-honored material JB Weld, because I was thinking that the, the point on these things, they have to be really sturdy, they have to be just totally stuck to that wood so there's no absorption of energy when it punctures that license plate or license plates so i'll get to that the other thing is aside from my duties here um building constructing maintaining painting the list goes on and i have to tell you that the worst couple hours of my job are pumping out the privy privy is a polite way of saying outhouse with a cement tank it's it's not nice. It's not pretty. The only time I looked my employers in the face and said no was when they said I should go into that confined space and then recode it. Nah, John doesn't do that. John doesn't climb in the outhouses. That is a no-go. That is a non-starter. Uh-uh. But what I have is from time to time hours where I'm just sitting in front of the nature center waiting for people to come through the gates, greeting them, going over the, the rules and the regulations, the structure of this facility. Perfect time to be working on a particular group of Osage bows and a certain black locust bow. Hi, Keith. I know you're watching. And so those are my next building projects while I'm sitting out here, you know, watching the grass grow. So that is good. I've learned that it's a waste of time going on the flat earth videos. So every time I get a suggestion on that sidebar, YouTube thinking that they know what I'm thinking, say I'm not interested, and I've been weaning off of it. It's hard. The last bit of knowledge that I want to pass on to all of you, because I'm older than all of you, of course. Hey, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> grumpy <laughs> is that the summer is not a good time to quit coffee I need it you know I'm not working hard all day long every single day but I am on duty on watch at least going into the summer 13 hours at least every single day and so it's not a good time to quit coffee I wish I could throw in a joke, but offhand I can't think of any that are family friendly. I can think of a lot of funny ones, but not ones that I would feel comfortable knowing that you're sitting at TV, eyes wide open, listening to all this nonsense, you know, with your, with your junior set next to you. I, I don't want to spring one of my jokes on you, but I'll come up with a good clean one. I, 
Sorry, I was just thinking of one that I could tell, but I'm not going to. You're just going to have to imagine. You're just going to have to imagine in your dirty little minds. That is all. I get a little on the flaky side here. Oh, technical. Technical knowledge. Got to throw some technical knowledge in here. And so I have a sinew back bow that's, I don't know if it's pushing limits. And so the sinew runs along here. And there's joinings. It's not just one piece of sinew that runs fore and aft, so we have um, overlapping sections. It's brickwork, so I did the best I can. But I might follow this up with not just wraps here and wraps here, but wraps every so often to help support where those unions are, those marriages of sinew fibers. And, and so that is a tricky way of helping to reinforce this, even though the, st the stress and the strain, you know, if it breaks, stress is, you know, the action and strain is the letting loose of stuff. Um, even though those wrappings are running perpendicular to the line of forces, they help cinch things down, so that would be a good thing. On a lot of native bows, the highly stressed um, plains bows and stuff, you'll see midland, ra midland wraps, and that's exactly what that for. Keep it from delaminating, helping to support the glue layer, helping to support the joints and with that a car is coming in thank you for watching i don't want to like greet them with a crossbow so i'm going to set it down that would be not polite